In this TV Crazy Man video, I take a look at behind the scenes visual plot, prop, and stuntman goofs from the 1960s Batman TV series starring Adam West and Burt Ward. Places everyone! Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Ready to move off. Let's start with the very first episode, Hi Diddle Riddle. Everyone's familiar with the scene of Batman and Robin zooming out of the Batcave. But did you ever notice this sinister goof? Or was it more like a trick with only the faintest clue to the viewer? It was a ruse all along. Keep your eye to the right. Watch as the Batmobile exits. Or does it? We think it's going out the other side, but in reality, the Batcave is a set, while the exit is an actual outdoor cave. If you look carefully, you can still see the shadow of the Batmobile as it completely stops once out of the camera's view. Holy deception, Batman! The Batmobile never left the Batcave after all. You've done it again, Chum. Also in the first episode, the Riddler captures Robin, but when an unconscious Robin is being carried away from the Batmobile, you can see a brief shot where his cape actually falls off. Of course, it's right back on the next second. Are you listening out there, fat man and boy blunder? Speaking of the Joker and the great Cesar Romero, I guess everyone is familiar with the fact that Cesar refused to shave his mustache to play the Joker, to which they had to paint makeup right on the top of it. But did you know there was another mustache that gave away a stuntman dressed as Batman that you may not have noticed? <laughs> In the Julie Newmar Catwoman episode, Better Luck Next Time, Batman's fighting a tiger at the beginning. One might be tempted to think it's Alfred in disguise due to the gray mustache that Batman appears to have, but it's just a stuntman. Could have been Cesar Romero playing a prank on everybody, I guess. And clearly it's not Alfred, as the close-ups show Adam West flailing about at empty air, pretending he's in the same room as the tiger. Of course, this is a lot more realistic than what you'd get today. You'd get like an actor jumping around pretending like he's fighting something and then they'd add in a CGI cartoon cat that the whole audience knows is not real. Now in order for Batman to scare off the tiger, he puts in his bad earplugs before turning on a super loud high frequency. Then increases the audio modulation. Well Adam West must have dropped one of them because one of them's missing and then it's back on in the next second. In the past, Burt Ward has complained in the early days of shooting Batman he had to perform his own stunts for the most part. But in the episode Holy Rat Race, when Batman and Robin run around the corner while pursuing Falseface, there is an obvious stunt double for Robin. Why did Burt Ward need a stunt double to run around the corner? Of course, this could have been one of the times that he was in the hospital from doing his own stunts. To which they would have done better just gotten a stuntman for him to start with. Burt Ward said in an interview that the special effects guys used uh, two and a half sticks of real dynamite once for a scene which resulted in a board hitting his nose and breaking it. Holy smoke! Could have been from the episode Smack in the Middle, but I'm honestly not sure because he did not specify which episode in the interview that I listened to. I love the Batman fight scenes, and we all know they didn't really hit each other, and it didn't really matter back in the day, but sometimes those misses were more apparent than others. In the episode Not Yet He Ain't, the Penguin has stolen the Batmobile, and Batman is in hot pursuit. But when he ejects the Penguin's men from his bat cycle, you can tell very easily it's dummies that get ejected and not men. I wonder, could this scene have been done with real stuntmen? If so, it would have had to have been some pretty tough stunt guys. Of course, the bad guys are unhurt until Batman and Robin punched them out. Holy bad aim! Those crooks couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Ice? In July! Now, there's one thing about old TV shows is they tended to use stock footage over and over again to save money and time, which is understandable. But, it did cause a few goofs here and there, if you were paying close attention, that is. In the episode Instant Freeze, for example, Commissioner Gordon says it's July. But the repeatedly reused footage of the Batmobile pulling up to police headquarters shows ladies wearing winter clothing. Maybe Mr. Freeze was working outside police headquarters that day. Now, another goof involving stuffed dummies that I found was on the episode When the Rats Away, the Mice Will Play. 
Batman and Robin are captured by the Riddler and attached to giant wheels to which the Riddler intends to spin them to death. But either he's spinning them so fast Robin has gotten extreme cellulite, or Robin has actually been metamorphosized into a non-living dummy because Robin doesn't look quite the same anymore, or Batman for that matter. Thankfully, the effect was only temporary as when Batman and Robin escape, they are completely back to normal again. I suggest no cops. Then we'll jump into action. We foiled your villainous death plot. In the episode, The Joker Goes to School. Robin is at school, so Batman must drive the Batmobile alone to Gotham Police Headquarters. But the shot after the Batmobile exits the Batcave shows that Robin is in the car. Could this be some sort of time paradox created by some unknown Batman villain? That's nah, probably just reused footage. Now, I bet you thought I was going to take the opportunity to mention my comic book Liberty Ace, which also involves some time travel and is on sale at Amazon. Nope. I am not going to mention it at all. In the episode, The Pharaoh's in a Rut, Bruce Wayne is on an out-of-control ambulance gurney that is headed toward a cliff. But the worst thing is there's an almost invisible, visible line that seems to be pulling him toward the cliff. Who could be doing that? In the episode, The Ring of Wax, when Batman is captured by the Riddler and is in the van and later above a vat of wax, it seems that the compartments on Batman's utility belt are nothing more than ordinary yellow sponges. What fiend is responsible for this, you ask? I don't know. In the very next episode continuing the story, Give Him the Axe, the lines that are actually holding Burt Ward and Adam West up are clearly visible. They didn't even try to hide them in this one. I guess in all fairness, they didn't think any kids would pay any attention anyway. Also in this episode, when Robin climbs the outside wall of the Gotham Museum, Batman has two unusually large yellow boxes on his utility belt, probably to contain the bat line that he pulls out for Robin. In the next shot of Batman, they're just gone, totally disappeared. In the episode, the bookworm turns, this exact same explosion footage was used later in Get Smart's 1969 episode, I Shot 86 Today, providing evidence possibly that Maxwell Smart and Batman live in the same universe. Maybe not technically a goof, unless you count the fact there is some kind of visible detonating device visible. You can see some kind of ball that is held up by a cable. I, TV Crazy Man, hope y'all understand I pick out these goose of my favorite TV shows, not to mock them, but to learn how things were done back in the day of the golden age of television. I'm sure Batman wouldn't think I was doing anything wrong. Right, Batman? Poor devil. I feel it's my duty not only to catch him, but with all the medical know-how at our command to help that sorry creature back to a normal way of life. Well, anyway, don't forget to hit the like and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you hit the bell, you're less likely to miss any new videos. So do that, and don't miss any of the next Batman Goose videos I'll be putting out. And the next one, will, of course, will be Season 2. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, and thank you to everyone that's commented and subscribed. Is this the ghastly <laughs> end of our dynamic duo? Same bad channel, same... well, you know the rest. One hint, the worst is yet to come.